Hello there. What's going on? What's popping off? We're back. You know, I haven't been on YouTube for a hot second, guys. It's been, I won't say it's been crazy, guys. I've just been, you know, out here getting loose, popping it, dropping it, breaking it down. No, I'm joking. So I thought I'd do a different video because I actually put in like a YouTube forum, like what kind of content you guys want to see. And I definitely want to give you guys not just makeup, but just everything. Do you know what I mean? So I thought today we could do, a, I hope this isn't echoey. I hope this is not echoey. I thought we could do a fun video because you guys, uh, I wouldn't say I'm an impulse buyer, but I would say I've definitely bought things over the years that I would probably say, mm, do I really need to buy that? Or am I wearing that anymore? Or so I would say I used to be an impulse buyer, but I wouldn't say I'm um, one as much anymore. So if you guys want to see my five fashion purchases that was regrets for some, keep on watching. Okay, so the first one may shock some of you. You know what? I'm gonna before I even start this video, I'm gonna say a disclaimer. If you own any of these things, I'm not saying they're bad or regrets. Some of them aren't even regrets. Some of them are just like I wish I'd known sooner, and it's, it's not gonna make me throw any of them away. Well, some of them. It's not gonna make me sell any of them. Well, some of them. It's just saying I wish I'd known sooner before I bought them because. It was either like my eyes bigger than my head or just, you know, the aesthetic. So let's get into the first one. So the first one, the first one <laughs> is the Ramoa. This is the Ramoa. I'm not even sure what size this blood clot is, guys. This is the cat, no, this is the check-in luggage. So I'm not sure what size, but I've had so many messages because this, I've had this for quite a while actually, and whenever I post it on stories like I'm going away, you know, airport pick, people always ask me, Gary, I really wanna get one, is it worth it? What is the tea? And guys, let me give you the breakdown. So these suitcases are so safe. They are TSA approved if you go to the States and they are just amazing, but there's a few flaws. Number one, these weigh, 4 kg, I think, or at least four or five. So imagine in the UK, if we're gonna fly somewhere or anywhere in like to America or like Europe, you get 23 kg, depending on who you fly with and what class, obviously, what you know. And if you have four or five kg taken off 23, that doesn't give you a lot of time or room. I mean, like first of all, you've got glamour makeup that is super, super heavy. Then you have shoes, which is even more heavier, but you can put in your check-in luggage and you have clothes. So if you're going on a way on a 10 day trip, you're really limited. So when I use this, I have to really think about what am I packing because even though the suitcase appears heavier at the airport, it's not me, it's this. So sometimes I'm really tempted to get like a normal suitcase, like one that's like just easy and lightweight, but it's the aesthetic. One that I would really recommend because I love Remo as a brand and their customer service is amazing is this one. This is the cabin crew size. This is so beautiful. It's super easy and I feel like it just looks so chic. Obviously guys, I'm not saying run out and get these because these are quite expensive. Like, oh no, they are expensive. This is like luxury suitcases, but one of them, well, I had one of them and I actually got this camera when I used to work at Mr. Porter. And the other one, um, I bought these, well, I bought this, no, the small one was a gift. It was a big one a gift. The small one was a gift and I bought the big one myself. But I would definitely recommend the cabin crew size because you don't have to worry about weight. Super, super cute. You can customize the handles, by the way. And yeah, you don't have to really worry about what you're gonna pack in these. So yeah, I would recommend the cabin crew. One is a bag and it's a, a Bottega bag. I probably wouldn't say this is a regret because this was a gift to me for my birthday and it was just such a nice gift. I would, it's not a regret and this bag is not going anywhere because she's she, she, she's a work of art, you know what I mean? So let me show it to you. you you've definitely seen this. Have you seen this on the blog? Yeah, you've definitely seen it on the blog. So it's this bag here. I'm not sure what this bag is called, but this was one of the bags that Daniel Lee did when it was at Bottega, and this bag is stunning. Like, is it she's stunning? Like, look at the outfit, everything. But one thing I will say is that even though I didn't get it, like, one thing is I love um, a conventional bag. Like, I like putting it over my shoulder. I like, you know, having that as a side bag, but I don't really, I don't mind the top handle. But the only thing that is quite annoying is getting into it. So. This is how you take the zip off. So the zip is here, which, and the zip is kind of stiff as well. And then to get into it, you have to pull this. So it, so to get into it is actually kind of hard. So imagine like I was running and someone was chasing me and I needed need to get into my house quickly. Guys, I'll die, I'll be dead. I'll be dead because this bag takes at least 14 seconds to get into, very, very bad. But 
We don't care because we're gonna keep our keys in our pockets because she's gorgeous and beautiful. Plus, I love this color. This is like one of my favorite greens. Like I've actually got it in the mini Jolie. It's the parakeet green. And you know, she's just, she's just that kind of girl, you know? <laughs> it's just like, girl, what's going on? But um, this is, I wanna say this is a regret. It's more of like a flaw with the design, but she ain't going nowhere and that is on. <sighs> Would you guys be shocked by this? Probably yes, because I probably don't show these a lot, but Louboutins. Lou Louboutins. Look, oh, look, look at the sparkle. Child, she iced out or whatever. She iced out. Okay, so I was a Louboutin whore. Like, whore. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually got these in a sample sale when the sample sale was on. So these weren't, these weren't what they retailed at, but <laughs> child, these are expensive, but I don't have a problem with Louboutin, the brand. I think for me, it's that when I was a bit younger, I loved anything sparkly, and I still do, but I feel like more in an accessory, more of like a bag or something. And I feel like, so it's not every day a sparkly shoe. Like what, like, I don't know, I feel like these are nice, and I feel like sparkly shoes on women look beautiful, but I feel like in a loafer version, maybe not. If these were black and sparkly, maybe yes, or like um, a boot banging, but it's a loafer, and I don't really like loafers like this anymore. Like, it's giving, mm, I'm not dissing anyone that wears a low fat. It's just giving to me uncle, uncle, you know, like a, you know, uncle, you know, at a wedding, you know, do a little. But these ones here, these are beautiful, but where am I going in an orange sparkly sequin shoe high top? I've only worn these once. Look at the state of them. I need to bring them to Southwest to get clean because they're suede. And where am I going in these? I bought, I bought these to New Year's and this was the last time I wore them because they're just so like, Effed up, but they actually are really nice. But I do feel like these kind of trainers with the sequins are kind of they give me just like they give me like like trap, 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 you know, kind of vibes. Like, you know, I might, I might like have someone on the block, it just gives me that kind of vibes. But I still think they're such a beautiful shoe. Keeping it in the Le Bouton family again, I got this while I was at a sample sale. And to be honest, uh, it's, not, it's not really a regret. It's kind of like, this is actually really gorgeous. I probably, I probably am still gonna wear this like a few more times before I sell it, cause I've never worn it. And it's this clutch. See what I'm talking about when my eyes are, like I love anything sparkly. I'm not sure if you guys remember when there was this brand called Butler Wilson, and I think they might have closed down actually. They had these like sparkly rings and I, no words were lie. I need to check if they're open actually. Cause no words were lie, Butler and Wilson had me in a chokehold. Show you, let me show you. So that's the kind of stuff they did. Like I had this exact ring. <gasps> As it starts to open, I definitely spent racks in that shop. But anyway, this is the bag. And the only reason I would probably say this because I probably wouldn't use it a lot. So you think, no, it actually does look really nice though. It actually looks really nice with this outfit. But I just feel like it's not really a vibe anymore. Like I feel like where would I be going with a silver studded bag? I would only wear this occasionally and I'm trying to just declutter stuff but it is beautiful. Um, I actually recorded another video using this and it actually has a side strap but this as a side bag, childish, childish. The next thing, <laughs> I got my money out of this. I wore this to every outfit. I actually wore this to my first press trip with Nas actually. Yeah, it's what I be fat and I wore this every single flipping night. Got my money out of this but at the same time now, I'm left a bit. What do I do with it? I'm like, I'm not sure how to even clean it, but I might even ask the Gucci, but this is from Gucci. Again, are we seeing that sparkly theme? You probably can't see it. Are we seeing the sparkly theme? This is a Gucci headband. You know what? When Nicki Minaj wore this, someone tagged me in it. I thought I was bad. I thought I was bad. When, Nick, when Nicki wore this, yeah, I thought I was bad. Nikki and the Gucci hairband. I actually bought this before I even know she bought it. Like, I love me some Nikki, but I didn't buy it because Nikki had it. I bought it because I went to Gucci like years and years ago, maybe at least seven years ago. And the guy was like, oh, sir, you look so good in this. And I was like, oh, child. But it's actually Rose Rothkey. And when I think about how much I paid for it, Lord have mercy, I definitely was. So I think my, <laughs> the default battery settings on my brain were definitely switched off because <laughs> Guys, ciao! It's beautiful, I'm not gonna put on my hair because I've just had my hair done. But wait. But she's beautiful, but I haven't worn her since the pandemic. Not even the pandemic, chat. I haven't worn her since 
2018 item would probably have to be heeled boots. Not just these in general or like any other boots. Oh, I feel like I'm really getting into my kind of high heel game, like you know, a bit of like off the ground. And I feel like I bought these like so spread, 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 spread. How do you say it? sporadically? Spread out, spread out, spread out, spread and I just feel like I love them so much, but I, I don't know how the girls do it. I cannot walk in a heel. This is this is not even a big heel, but you know what? I've got a flat feet. The, the archiness is very mad, and I feel like every time I wear these, they actually hurt me so much. But what? I tried them on for a whole five seconds and said, yeah, let me get them. I should have worn them around the store for at least 10 minutes. They are so painful, but they are so beautiful. Look at the, look at the square toe child. I'm not gonna give them away because I'm, I'm gonna see if I can wear socks or try and get some of Amazon. Like if anyone has any recommendations because they're just such a bad B shoe. But at the same time, if I cannot wear these as much as I can, it's a regret because why did I spend this if I can't wear these shoes? Like why, who, who, do, who did I think I was purchasing such a shoe if I cannot walk in it? How? dare you okay but um that's it for my fashion regrets guys if you want more videos like this or more like fashion content let me know you know i'm trying to look something something different please let me know in the comments down below no i've been away for a while but you know we're gonna continue to regular programming okay let me know in the comments what you want to see next and i shall see you soon guys well, i'll see you on sunday